What's good? Your boy Aaron's in the house. I'm with Shaney Smash. What's up, what's up? Today I'm gonna teach you the basics of holding mitts. Holding mitts is an art in itself, okay? Everybody likes hitting mitts, but holding mitts is really fun too. It's a great way to condition, right? Kicking mitts is hard. And it's also a great way to simulate a fight. It's the closest thing I think to sparring and fighting without actually sparring or fighting. So today I'm gonna teach you how to catch punches, elbows, kicks, and knees. Let's start with punches. When you catch punches, you wanna make it as realistic as you can. So everything lands in the same spot like it's one head. It's not out here. Also, I see this a lot. Shaney throws a jab. People are smothering the punch. She's never gonna find her punch range if I keep smothering her. So I need to keep the mitt close to my face. An expert mitt holder keeps the mitts real tight. Everything's tight and compact, just giving just enough resistance to not punch myself in the face. Make sense? All right, here we go. We start with the one. Just a jab. Finding the chemistry with your partner, you start slow. That's it. Good. The whole time I'm holding, I'm looking to see if she's doing anything wrong so I can capitalize on it. One, two. One, two. Very good. Threes and fours are gonna land like this on a 45 degree angle, not a 90. I wanna simulate my face, the same angle as my face, you see? So we're gonna go one, two, three now. See how I land that, right in the center. Not out here, in the center. It's one head, one, two, three. Good, again. Same with the four. Right in the center. It's all about angulation, okay? It's not a 90, it's a 45. This 90 is a little awkward. Uppercut. Uppercuts generally land a little bit lower. Because generally when you do an uppercut is when your partner's head's down here, you see? So I'm catching the punch a little bit lower than the threes and the fours. Good. Good. One, two. One, two, three. Two. Very good. Basics of catching punches. Now, let's go into kicks. Start with the rear round kick. When you hold for kicks, you want the mitts to be real flat. You can hold like this. It's a little bit awkward. I like to separate a little bit to give me a more of a longer surface area. So the tips of the mitts are touching. You always start slow with your partner to find the chemistry. You've got to give them enough resistance to not pop yourself in the face, you see? But also not smothering the kick. It should be like my body. Good. Good. One thing to think about when you're kicking, when you throw the rear kick, my lead foot should line up with her back foot. If my lead foot is over here, the power is over here. You wanna step across your partner so the kick and the power comes through the center line. So you need to find that angle, kicking right in the middle, not my face, not my balls. Okay? You'd be surprised. Good, that was a good one, you hear it, right? That's it, swing your hand more. Good, two more. Good, last one. Very good, deep breath in. When you throw the switch kick, the same rule applies. So Shaney faces me in her stance. When I switch, my rear foot's gonna line up with her lead foot. If I switch and I'm over here, the power's over here. The same thing goes for her back. You step across your opponent. He's getting carried away. I wasn't ready for that. When you kick, all right? So now let's work some switch kicks. I'm not smothering her kick, I let her come to me. Make it realistic. That's it. You gotta find the chemistry with your partner, giving just enough resistance to not fall over or hit yourself in the face with your own hands. That happens a lot. Last one. Very good. So that's round kicks. Let's put them together, punches and kicks. Kickboxing is the hardest workout in the world because your legs are heavy, right? When you start kicking, you're gonna work a lot of muscles together, which means you're burning a lot of calories and you're getting a great workout. Let's start with the one-two switch kick. There you go. So you see, I'm catching the punches. Right in the center, and then I'm catching the kick. Oi, oh, it's okay. So that's gonna happen a lot. So you have to start slow until you find the chemistry. Otherwise, you're gonna get clipped in the head, you're gonna get clipped in the balls. Let's go into elbows. Elbows is similar as punches. I'm gonna give enough of resistance to catch it. I'm not gonna come to her, I'm gonna make her come to me so she finds her elbow range. It's a different range, it's closer. So let's start with just a left elbow. Lead. She can throw it up, across, or down. Show them up. Good, across, down. 
and the angle of the mitt is gonna shift. We go up, cross, down. Very good. So the key is, is I'm not coming to her. She's never gonna learn her range. I'm making her come to me. We're sparring, I'm simulating a fight. Now read the angle. Good, 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 good. Elbows. Let's go into knees. I like to use this belly pad. If this is too much, you can also catch it with mitts. You can also catch it with a bigger belly pad. For the sake of the drill, I'm gonna use a small belly pad. She's gotta be really accurate. When you catch her knees, I'm gonna, it's gonna be contralateral. I'm gonna use my right mitt. She's gonna knee me with her right leg. This is her cue. When she knees, she's trying to hit the surface area of my belly, not the mitt. It's gonna hit this little crevice, this little nook, okay? But if she's just hitting the mitt, that's realistic for a head, if my head's down here, but it's not realistic to throw a knee to the body. So she's gotta find that nook by leaning back and pointing her toes right in the center. It's important that when you're catching knees that you breathe. Because if I don't breathe, I'm gonna get the wind knocked out. I gotta let it out. It's like an ab workout for me. See, I'm taking, I'm absorbing it. That's a nice knee. One more. Beautiful. Okay, now she's gonna react. I'm gonna hold for elbows and knees, all right? Just to react to the angles. There's two schools of thought on holding mitts. Ties generally just react to their partner. Their partner's actually leading. That's very advanced. So if we were here, I would be like, she would throw something, and I'm just reacting. That's very advanced. For the sake of the drill, I'm gonna call it out, or I'm gonna hold for something, and she's gonna react. All right, so we're here. Elbows and knees only. Elbow. Knee. See how that was just a touch low, so you gotta find it. Knee. Nice, knee. Hey, good. Elbow. Elbow. Hey. Hey. The better you get with your partner, the more you get to know each other, then she's gonna know what I want, right? You start to find that chemistry and we don't have to talk as much. Knee. Elbow. Hey. Good. Shake it out. All right, so we went through punches, kicks, elbows, and knees. Last but not least, I wanna work teeps, also known as front kicks, also known as push kicks. When you throw the teep, we're gonna use this body shield too. Shaney's gonna throw the teep. Real accurate, always start slow, so you don't hurt your partner, okay? Go ahead and work it, Shaney. Just nice teeps, go ahead. That's it, I'm letting her come to me, and I'm breathing. Flowing with it, good. So people forget that when you're holding mitt, you're actually getting a workout in too. And the better you get, you start to simulate a fight more. For instance, she's teeping me, right? Oh, oh, I might set back, I might counter, I might try to simulate more of a fight the more advanced we get. So we learn punches, kicks, elbows, knees, and teeps. Here we go. I'm gonna build up a combination. Let's start with the one, two, three. I usually start with the base combination and then I build up. This is my favorite type of workout. It's a combo build up on the Fight Camp app. One, two, three. Add a rear elbow. Find the range. I gotta check myself. I gotta make sure I don't come to her too much. That was my fault. See? Uh huh. That's the art. Beginners, they smother. Advanced, you try to simulate a fight. Everything lands in the same spot. One, two, three, rear elbow. Very good. Let's add a lead knee. Lean back, find the knee. No worries. Add another elbow. So I'm adding a technique as we go. Home stretching, you got this. Hey, hey, very good. Add a three. Hey, 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 hey. Add a rear kick. Almost there, come on. Hey, 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 hey. Good, add two teeps at the end. This is the last one. If you get this, it's the last one. It's okay, deep breath in. As you get tired, it's hard to think. That's why we do this, it's brain fitness, it's keeping your composure when you're tired. We're simulating a fight. KO. So there you have it. The basics of holding tie pads. I like holding mitts more than I like hitting them. It's a great way to connect with someone. 
It's a great way to get a workout. It's a great way to simulate a fight, and there's, the possibilities are endless. Go find a partner and practice. And if you don't have a partner, check out Fight Camp. My name is Aaron Swenson, Shaney Smash. We'll check you on the flip side. Deuces.